The Karens are back, producing all the fun and mayhem that you can ever expect from these people. Because, you know, that's how it is. Ever since the pandemic, apparently something happened to make these people appear far more often than, than, than what they always did beforehand. Though it's probably because uh, everyone a little bit cray-cray over the pandemic, so uh, here's now the result of it. Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. With your host, the extremely idiot, me, the idiot who knows nothing, who pretends to know something. Let's get into the clips. This clip here is an interesting one. We've got a Lyft driver who's doing a pickup, and they picked up the person who's paid for multiple seats for her, her baby, and then also puts paper towels in the passenger seat. Apparently, the Lyft driver wasn't having any of it, so attempts to kick them out in in general. You're right. cancelling my ride because I put paper towels on your front seat. Yeah. You're going to drop me and my babies off in the cold because I put paper yeah. towels on the front seat? I paid for these seats. When I ordered the lift, I paid for four seats. Four it's seats. paper towels. What is wrong with you? You're talking about you're not a delivery? You're my ride. I paid for this. Be careful. Slowly, okay? Don't tell me be careful. You're talking about you're going to cancel my ride and kick me and my child out of the car because I put paper towels on your front seat? I paid for you to pick me up and come here and bring me back to my house. Anyway, I will help you. And, uh, you're not helping me do anything. I paid for this. Because You're ridiculous. I paid for this. Because of the baby. Because Nothing because of the baby. I paid for four seats. You can't tell me what I can and can't put on them seats. I'm right there. It's paper towels. I don't care. I paid for the seats. What are you talking about? About you're not a delivery driver. What are you talking about, bro? Are you sick in your head? Look, I'm not going to pretend to know policies and anything to do with Lyft. I don't even know if it's an, uh, something that exists in Australia. Probably. Probably does, considering all the other ones do, but I've never used it, so I would be completely unfamiliar with it. But I've used Uber a few times, especially when traveling from houses to airports for travel with suitcases and all of that. And I just sit here querying the question here. Okay, where are you picking them up from? Are you picking them up from the shops? What else? Do you, shops to their house? What else do you expect them to have? No shopping? If you don't like the paper towels being in your front passenger seat, then why not have it be put into the boot? I don't get what the problem is here, genuinely. Like, I could understand if it was something, like, extraordinarily dangerous, but I'm just sitting here a bit perplexed on this one. And it seems to have a bit of a mixed reaction where it was originally posted on TikTok. But, I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. With this one here, we seem to have an interesting predicament here. Basically, there's a person hanging out at this hotel that's been there for way over a month now, is being effectively an overall nuisance to everyone else in the hotel. This person goes to complain to someone at the reception desk, and the reaction is intriguing. Corporate mm -hmm. knows that that is your answer, mm -hmm. that the smoking, and that, that all is all acceptable, and that that is the downfall of living in a hotel mm -hmm. for a month and a half. Mm -hmm. That's what you stand by. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Thank perfect. You. Oh, you're so very welcome. What is your name? Wendy Worrell, W-O-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Okay. And you are okay. You're telling me that that is the downfall of living in a hotel. Whatever you say, ma'am. You uh, have an a extended stay. Day. That is the this downfall. This is not extended stay. Or whatever the hell it is. Okay. Okay. It's the same thing. So thank you. And if you're not happy, you're always welcome to leave and go to another hotel. Okay. All right. This is perfect. And what else? I love your customer service. What Isn't else? Isn't it great? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank it, you. I know it's wonderful. I do genuinely wonder why this is the choice reaction here. Because isn't like the point, isn't like one of the things in hotels, you kind of need to have some orderly conduct and not be a continuous annoyance to other people who are also in the hotel? Or is this a simple case where no one else has actually complained so far because no one else either wants to complain at fear these people might do something or care enough to actually make a complaint because they're not there long enough to need to make said complaint? I don't know. This is an intriguing one. I mean, to me, it's as simple as that. Okay, this person is been there for a month and is being a continuous nuisance to customers who are also here at the hotel. I wonder how long that's been going on for. Has other people had to deal with this and they've just chosen not to complain? Is there something more I need to look into? Instead of just saying, if you don't like it, just go to a different hotel. Really that simple, you know? Here we have an old lady who uh, gets herself into a bit of an accident and seems to be a bit off the nut case here, you know? So let, let's just see this interesting interaction, right? Damaged. My car is damaged. Is where? Is right your... here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over. Oh, shit. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged. 
damaged. You bitch! Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. You know, just took, you know, took me to, you know. And it's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you don't, you don't in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. Crazy bitch! Is she driving away? You have her license, bitch? Yeah. Huh? I got it now. She just drove away. I know there wasn't any visible damage, but isn't that just a hit and run right there? They just left the scene of an accident without providing any information of anything whatsoever. And also, is it just me or did she almost hit that Mitsubishi up there? Like, she was going to, to be driving head on into it until last moment, slightly swerves into the side, into her side of the lane. Because, you know, she was driving down the middle of the car park lot. You know, these are people's lanes, buddy. You gotta go into your lane. It's not just your road. <laughs> what a nutcase. This entire situation was probably by far the pettiest thing I've ever seen on this channel. Like, out of all the clips I've watched, this this entire thing, how it started, just feels to be the most pettiest thing I've ever seen. So, let me fill you in. So, this family, this mother and her daughter have gone to watch a movie at the cinema. And apparently, she's decided to say that her daughter is 15 years old. Apparently, that so they can get two adult tickets. Apparently, from what I can get with the story is that the adult tickets might have been cheaper than the children tickets, which sounds a little bit weird to me in the first place. Usually it's the children tickets that are cheaper than the adult chickens, but I digress on that one. Apparently that's a thing here. Anyhow, they did not ask for ID initially when it comes to getting these tickets. Anyway, a little while later, it comes to a occurrence of another staff, potentially a manager, that this daughter may have been younger than 15, may have been 14. So, takes it upon himself to go into the cinema where they're currently watching a movie, not only pause the movie, but then cause this huge ruckus that lasts quite a bit inside of the cinema. I don't know. If you, if he didn't say nothing to me about being an for an adult price? Yeah, I paid for two adults. Unless your daughter is 15 and prove She that. is 15. It didn't say nothing about me proving it. There's, They've what? There is a, a pop no, up that comes that. up that says you might I didn't will see be that. asked for ID. I wasn't challenged no, once, except for the stupid woman at the desk. Yes, that's what there was. There was four other people, no one had challenged me, so how come she's challenging me? She's it's seeming like a race issue tickets. now. It's seeming a bit like a race issue now. How is it a race issue? Because she's the only one. No one else said nothing of other colour. No one said nothing, but she's got something to say now. Yeah, it's definitely got to do with it. She's picking on me, clearly. When you're buying the ticket on the line, it's very hard. Uncle, your security, yeah? Let me deal with the manager. I don't want to disrespect you, all right? Thank you. You? You've come to tell me my child got 15. You don't have no right to come and tell me my child got 15. My colleague No, because I've, no, I've never had to bring... No, excuse me. I don't care what your stupid colleague said, yeah? Because she's been rude from the get-go. She don't need to speak. You're being rude you've, now. She asked for I'm you to, to come. Here. You're not trying would, to be polite. Like, because you've come you. to turn on light. Like, you've come to embarrass me. No. Yes, I'm not trying to embarrass you. You've come to embarrass me and the people themselves. not good management. Yeah, you've yeah. done a terrible job. You've come and put lights on. It causes problems going forward. It's embarrassing. Whoa. That's what you've come to do. You've come to embarrass people in your cinema. On, the you've hardly got people here as it is. You come to embarrass yourself. Why? What, what illegal? What illegal? Go and, which one have you asked in here for ID except for me, the black one? Which one have you asked in here for ID? Come tell me. Excuse me, has anyone been asked for ID in here? Anyone been asked for ID? No, no one's been asked for ID. But you come to ask this one for ID. What kind of shit is that? If you're gonna do one rule, you have to do one rule for all. What is that? What are you showing? What kind of management are you showing? You didn't ask me for ID. You didn't ask me for ID. How old do you think I am? I might be 15. I might be 14 to be to be fair. You didn't see how I arrived. You didn't ask me shit. You didn't ask me. Who is this one now? You didn't ask me shit. But you're telling me this one don't look 15. So we must look old to be in the film now. Okay. Well, I'm but but what now? So we can. You want to pause out. the people then film? Yeah. Run me back all the money I paid times two. If you don't want to come with me, no, no, you come to me with your stupid card machine and run me back my money times two. Run me back my money times two. 
Embarrassing up yourself with the people in the cinema. Let me eat my chicken, yeah? <clears throat> no look at authority, you mean shit. Time to go. No, I don't want you stupid to listen. Listen, I don't want that. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't come in and yourself up in your cinema because you pay the Quran law charge. Yeah? Buddy, put another hand near my child. It's me and you today. I promise you on everything. Yeah? Don't come near the child. If you want to talk to someone, talk to me. Don't come near her. Don't point at her. Don't do nothing. No yeah, yes, she did. You. Yes, she did. So don't act stupid. You was here. He stepped in front of you because you didn't mean shit. He stepped in front of you like he was security now. I felt that was going to intimidate me. Me? You've gone mad. You've gone mad. Sorry. Well, do you accept the fact that there's age requirement here? Uncle, please stop. Yeah? So, uncle, stop. Yeah? Because I have not been rude to you and I don't want you to get involved. That's fine. I said, run me my, run me my money back and then we'll be fine. But Mr. Superman wants to walk in, head of everything, clearly, acting like he's running things over here. But he don't run me, unfortunately, because I don't work for him. That's why I said that. So it looks like you got me running everyone back there pretty soon. It's cool. If you'd like to come with us... <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not being arrested, so you know. Would you like to come with us? What kind of thing is this? But just so we can sort out. Listen, when he's got manners, then I'll move. But because you came with him now, I'm even more pissed off. I'm even more pissed off because I was fine with my refund. But this one, he's got some problems. And that's the one i got problems with now. Madam, you want that to settle? Uncle, I spoke to you already. I do not want to argue with you. Yeah, I do not want to argue with you. If you came correct, I would have spoke to you the same way. But you didn't. You started off wrong. I've been polite. No, no, no. That's not how you managed. You didn't do that. You, you've calmed down now. You've calmed down now because you see camera. But you wasn't like this at the beginning. Uncle was not rude from the beginning. You was rude and now you've calmed down. This tone is fine to talk to me for, with. That's absolutely fine. As I said, the refund I would have been fine with. You came like Superman. From where? For what? From the office. For what? For what though? Because you're abusing Did I staff. touch him? Abuse did I touch him? You don't have to abuse someone. Did I touch him? You're insulting my staff. What did I say? It's time to leave the building. But what did I say to him? It doesn't matter what you said. It does matter, because you said I insulted him, so what did I say? No, you've been abusing What did I say? Oh, doesn't so matter what you said. Listen, what did I say I'm to him? I'm asking you to leave. What did I say to him? It doesn't matter what you said. Well, it does, you've because you said I insulted him. What did I say to people. him? You were talking what did I watching say? that film. Right, you leave, you leave the room. Stop, stop telling me to leave. leave. Stop telling me to leave. That's what you're being asked to do. Yeah, that's his job. That's no, not even not. your job. It's not. What's your job? Like this. Get out the building. Who are you f talking to? This is the opportunity to what? move now. Jimmy, I and don't let work everyone for get on with I do not day. work for you. Doesn't matter. What do you mean opportunity? I do we work. have the right I don't to reject for... anyone. Oh, okay. reject, reject. What you got to say now? Personally, I would have not seen any form of effort being worth it here from the worker's point of view. Oh, she might, the kid might have been 14 and they paid for an adult ticket because she claimed they were 15 and no one decides to do an ID check. I mean, that just becomes one of those things where someone stuffed up elsewhere. It just becomes one of those things. She's already brought the ticket. She's already pretty much in the cinema. What's the point on taking this any further? It just seems outlandishly stupid and very, very flipping petty. Like, there's either some form of potentially racist intent or just the workers, the retail worker here has had a bad day and decides to take it out on some random individual who just so happened to have done something slightly wrong wrong which just thinking about that is just insane like the levels of petty that that is in the first place it's just stupid like what's the point of this you've literally all you've done is probably guaranteed that if there's another cinema somewhat nearby most of these people would probably never come here again because of this ginormous argument that you caused in the middle of the cinema which i think to me this entire reason to cause the argument sounds ridiculous ridiculously stupid and so unnecessary if it was really a problem you could just ask them at the end of the movie oh no like genuinely speaking how much more expensive would a child ticket cost versus 
an adult ticket. Maybe this is a film that is MA15+, plus, where you have to be 15 years or older to watch it. But at the same time, if no one's done the proper ID check and the parent's fine for the kid to watch it in the first place, at that point, you're doing too little too late. It's ridiculously stupid to do anything along these lines after the fact. Here we have a, an unhappy neighbor complaining about property lines again and has gotten some police involved who also seem to uh, be a bit of a weird one in this situation. So keep on talking. You have no business here. Am I breaking any laws? That's right. Now I'm gonna keep on. Your property line is over there. Well, I can show it to you again, come here. No, you don't. That it belongs to me. Legally, I couldn't put this on the property line. I think you probably you did it illegally anyway. Why would I do stuff illegal? Because you are you you, you committed me a crime? No, you're seriously. A I'm not gonna. I'm get an idiot. There. You're an idiot. I'm not gonna get in there with you, Scott. You're making a practical out of yourself. I'm, you're the one who like call the cops, and you're here. You're calling me an idiot. No, I'm calling you an idiot. And you're saying I do illegal. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an idiot because I'm doing stuff on my property. I'm going to no. tell you, what, what's, what have you been doing lately? Working, making money, Lose making your millions. Eyes. Lose your eyes. You expect Lose me a crime? Lose your eyes. Lose your eyes. Take your sunglasses off. Lose your eyes. What are you suspecting me of? Lose your eyes. Let me see your eyes. Are they dilated? Mine are good to go. Good to go? I don't know. You've what done more drugs in your life than I have. You don't remember. I do know you as a kid, right? Some people grow out of it, and then some people never grow out of anything. Oh, anything. That's why Except you came to. Stupidity. Oh, stupidity. That's why you're here. This, and I'm just here living my life. You, no, you, no, you haven't been living your life here. Dude. You've been living your life in West Point. Really? Because I don't even live in West Point. Well, where no. How do you? Why, why do you think you know here. me? I know it's not here. But the, who owns this place? Uh, who owns this place? Tell, you can't tell who owns it because look at it. No different than your place. I mean, we could look. I mean, I mean, it's no different than the place right there where you live. I mean, you even got a car illegally parked. You got that car illegally parked. You think being a law officer, you wouldn't have a car legally parked on your property. Want to keep on going? You guys have a great day. You're dismissed. I'm digging up my stuff. Walking away. Come on now. You know me better than that. Ah, we must be in that neighborhood where everybody knows everybody. It's just gonna be a funny conversation between like, Oh, I know you do this, 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 and this. It's like, oh, I thought you lived over there. It's like, no, I never lived over there. It's, it's What an interesting conversation is to have here. And that police officer seems to be a little bit out of their mind on accusing various different things. That, and like, I don't know. Bit of a weird one. Like, I'm surprised that police officers acting the way that they're acting. Just, like, immediately believing the, the guy behind the camera is immediately in the wrong. And when he goes to take the effort to actually show them that, nope, this is where the property line is. I can't put the fence here. I wouldn't be able to put the fence here legally if it, if it was on top of the property line. It's like, oh, I don't know. You do, th oh, that doesn't matter. You do things legally anyway. Just for some th weird thrown out thing from the officer. It's just a very... A weird conversation to say the least. Prior to the argument we see in this recording, this mother had let her child try on some pants over the top of their leggings that they're wearing. The staff member caught them doing this and assumed that the kid was getting change in the middle of the actual store itself instead of using the changing rooms. And this is how we got to this argument here. She did not change her clothes. She was she you was horrified, she was the look on her horrified. face when she looked at me Don't eye to tell eye me how my daughter her. was. My daughter was completely fine. She said, can I just change right here? you think that I having your yes, child you get, get down to changing clothes in public is okay for your child? I happen she to think it is She was in horrible. leggings. Do you know it what leggings are? Horrible. Do you know what leggings are? All right, ma'am. You work are you here? Stupid? Do you know what leggings are? Are you stupid? Why do you act stupid? Act stupid? You are acting stupid. You're talking to your employees like my daughter was back there naked. She was. No, she, she was naked, not. But she, she was in leggings and 
clothes. She was in leggings Not and a sweater. Not appropriate. She tried on a pair of Not pants over her pants. Not appropriate. That is appropriate. Not appropriate. How is that inappropriate? Have you seen the people that shop in this store? The skeezy men that shop I in this store? I don't care. The women she was in you leggings don't care and a sweater. That you're exposing leggings your child to skeezy people? I wasn't exposing my child to anything. People? Yeah. Don't talk to me about my parenting. Yeah. I was not exposing my parents. That was, yeah. That was not it a good call. It absolutely is not. not I have an incredible call. parent. I don't even not care. Your call. opinion not means nothing. Not a good I'm call. I'm just telling you. If my she was not means back nothing, there. Why are you Because you're talking to all your me. employees about it. I, I do, watched you. I do teach so, them how to handle She was situations. not naked. She was in yeah. leggings. That Shut the fuck up. up here. I don't need you yelling at me. I will be calling corporate. I don't need you yelling at me. I will be calling corporate. And I will let them know that you had your daughter changing her clothes on the floor. This clip is a lot to unpack, and I think there's just two things I want to make clear before we unpack it all. A, the way the staff members have handled the situation, it, it, seemingly considering the fact that divulged into this argument in the first place, is terrible. And two, if you're trying on any form of pants, even if you're doing it over the top of leggings, you're just better off going to a fitting room. Because when you're pulling these pants back off, you may accidentally pull your pants with you. It happens to the best of us. Like, sometimes it just happens that way, and considering that this is a kid, it is far more likely for these type of mistakes to happen, so you're just better off going to a changing room if you want to try any form of pants, trousers of the sorts, because that's just the wiser move here. Clearly though, the staff members did not appropriately handle this situation because it's turned into this argument in the first place. Like, considering that the staff member was like, oh, she looks so shocked, so horrified by this, by me seeing, me seeing her, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just silly. Going on about that is just so dumb. Going on how that you're a bad mother because it's giving her trauma is just not the way to handle this. The way to handle this is to like, hey, I understand your kid's wearing leggings, but it's probably wiser to go to a fitting room because she might accidentally pull her leggings off with the pants she's trying on. It's just smarter. And that's it. It's all you need to do. You don't need to go on about how they're a bad parent or how they shouldn't be doing this. It's just like you explain the way they sh why this is probably not the greatest idea and say like, hey, I get it, but it's not the brightest move. Just terribly handled by the staff members here. Now in this next clip, we've got a pretty irate customer over a simple drink who's absolutely losing his marbles over the fact that this drink was made by someone. I'm assuming it's not tasting exactly how he wanted it or it wasn't made precisely to his specifications, but he kind of loses it a little bit. Yeah. Don't videotape me. You have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Fucking Easy. stupid, fucking ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking Bye. Man. Okay, you can Jim, call stop, corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jim, stop. You're on camera. Fuck You're on camera. You're on camera. Fucking bitch. No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. The Kevin was later arrested. There's a very interesting story when it comes to this clip overall. If we, like, going through what actually happened here. So, apparently, going into it, this guy ordered a peanut flavored drink for his child, but made it clear they didn't want actual peanuts to be in the drink itself. Now, we can assume, we now know that it's because his kid's allergic to peanuts, but that's one thing he never made clear to the workers. Whilst I would address a tiny smidgen of a fault to the employees and not potentially think about that being a possible reason why they don't want peanuts in there, I ultimately give the onus onto the father themselves. He should have made it clear that the reason why he doesn't want peanuts to be in this drink is because your son's allergic to it. 
Like, if you make that clear, these workers can do what they need to do to make sure no form of cross-contamination will actually happen that will cause your kid to have an allergic reaction, as that's probably what happened here. His, there was some form of cross-contamination from peanuts from a previous drink because it wasn't made 100% clear that the reason why this is occurring is because of an allergy, and it caused the kid to have an allergic reaction. Now, apparently what happened post this clip is that the kid, the teenager that had the drink thrown at her sued the guy. She managed to win, I think it was like $20,000 or something, something not massively major, as well as this guy did end up losing his job as well because of this, which ultimately deserved. I get it, your child's having a massive allergic reaction, but ultimately the reason why that happened is mostly on you, because you never made it clear that your child has this form of allergies, so the employees couldn't do what they need to do to make sure that there was no way cross-contamination could occur to lead to your kid having said allergic reaction. In this next clip, we got a Karen who has uh, just been an asshole to uh, an assumed homeless person. I got mental shit too. Fuck off! Hold you, you off, you fucker. You're gonna waste a piece of fucking shit. Get a fucking job. job. Get a fucking job. Get a fucking job. Get the fucking job. You know what? You need to go up to the club. You know what? You need to get the fucking job. Get the with me. I am a crazy ass wife and I'm loaded. I got so many people that will just put a fucking cap in your like there's no tomorrow, right? Like me. You're you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're taking money from these good people. From these good people. You're disabled. What's disabled about you? We're all disabled. We're all disabled in our head. You don't think we're all nuts? We're all insane. Oh yeah, go to your happy place. Take keep taking money from these honest, hard work people. Good, do it. Good. She's recording. Fucking do it. Get away from me. No, you get the out of here. You know, fucking play. Get out of here. Get away from me. Get the from me. Well, there's an issue you because he is like taking money. He is stealing money from honest, good, hardworking people. Well, this, this, my choice is to like not get. I got many questions. First off, did she just threaten to get someone with guns or for her to shoot this guy, potentially killing him? What the actual fuck? Secondly, has she not encountered someone who's got an actual mental disability before? You know, there's like many different things here that can cause someone to be mentally disabled for various different reasons. And there's also various different severities of it. And some of these can actually cause someone to have a lacked ability to be able to get a job because they lack proper cognitive functions. I, I don't know about you, but like, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure that can still be counted as someone who's disabled. Disabled, you fucking idiot. <laughs> and then, of course, when she sees the other person's recording, she doesn't assume that the person's recording because you're just being an absolute asshole to some guy who's sitting there on homeless, effectively. No, no, she's assuming that the person's recording to record the homeless person. Yeah, that's totally what's going on, you fucking dumb fuck. And this we watch is for one reason or another, this person is extremely unhappy with their experience at Walmart, so they decide to start yelling at the staff members, thinking that the louder they yell, the more successful their whatever they're doing is going to be. Let me, let me see. Okay.
scream and shout and let it all out, but can you shut the fuck up when it's over? <laughs> when it's all said and done, maybe learn to just get get a zip, a, a stitch it to your lips, and then close it. You might find that you have a much more enjoyable life when you aren't screaming at every other person who does something. Like, what in the world even happened here to cause you to be this loud over something? Like, you, like is it just you being like, oh, yep, yeah, if I'm loud enough, they'll listen to me, right, right, right? Or is this you genuinely...